In this video, I would like to talk and review the headphone amp by Traveler Guitar, the TGA-1E. And at the end of the video, I can tell you if we can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, as if we would recommend it for our students that are learning electric guitar and are looking for either something to practice that doesn't give you any noise around your loved ones, or they're trying to wait off a little bit into the purchase of a full amp, and this, at $30, it can be a great option. So let's talk a little bit about the features, and at the end of the video, I can tell you if we feel that we can be recommending this for our students. So let me show you a picture that I took of it. So here you have, at the very top of it, you have a USB port. So this does not have batteries that you can take in and out. The battery is directly a rechargeable battery and it gets recharged by USB. This may, I guess the package only has a USB cable. So you're gonna need a little power block, but with a USB cable, you can plug it in and charge it. And I believe it's a four hour charge of playtime. Now then it has uh, three knobs and let me go ahead and show you like a close up of that. So those three little dials, uh, one is for gain, one is for ton and one is for volume. And then we have a uh, auxiliary input there. So that is actually a great option because uh, the little knobs that it has on the top allow you to dial in different types of combinations of sounds and get something that you will like how it sounds for you. So the auxiliary input, which is that little hole there, allows you to plug in an iPad, a phone, so you can practice with a reference track, maybe from with some YouTube uh, videos that you're trying to learn songs from. So it's great. You do need a specific cable, and most people don't really have that cable. That cable, it's a mini plug, a stereo, uh, and it's male to male. And it's a cable that, of course, if you get it, you're going to be able to plug multiple devices so you can use it as a reference. And I'm going to, by the way, plug it in in a second so you guys can hear it. And then uh, lastly, and let me show you this other picture, uh, we have here on the side of it an on and on switch, uh, the headphone jack, so you can plug your headphones, and then a little uh, light to tell you if it's on or off. So the device is fairly small, it's very thin. Uh, one thing that I feel that when you plug it in, let me show you this other uh, side angle that I have so you guys can see it. When you plug it into your guitar, let me see if I can show you my jack, uh, one thing is it can rotate on you. So it it's a little bit, you know, it comes out of the guitar, makes your guitar a little bit, I guess, longer. And one thing that to me is a little bit concerning with this type of device is that it's hard to almost like hit it against something. So I don't love the fact that it rotates very easily because when you plug in your headphones, I think it's going to start kind of like almost moving around. And I think that's something that my biggest concern about having it rotate is if you stand up and you hit this against a stand or like a bookcase and then break it. It does feel a little bit fragile. So I think is definitely something that we need to like make sure that you're not going to be hitting. So let me see if I can connect it. So there, by the way, I'm connecting into, uh, into the headphones, the headphones I'm running into my system. That's probably not what this is intended for, but at the same time, I think it's the way so you guys can actually hear how it sounds. Uh, and I have the, the cable there uh, a little bit like hooked on the back so that so it prevents it from moving. So you guys in the shot that I'm trying to create there, someone hopefully stays in the shot. So let me lower here the dial for gain and it sounds like it's a little bit loud on the volume, but let me play a couple of chords here. Now that still has a little bit of gain, so we put a gain on zero. So pretty nice sound right out of the box. I think it has a clean sound. It has like a, a pleasant sound. Uh, one thing that I like about it is that the headphones can get pretty loud. I can keep going there with the gain and make it even louder. So for the test that I was doing here, for sure it has a, enough gain so you can hear the guitar clearly. Now, I wouldn't plug the cheapest headphones that you can find in your house to it. I think if you have decent headphones, you know, 30, 40, 50 dollar headphones, it's gonna sound a little bit nicer, but uh, definitely it does have enough output. Let me see if I can get a better shot if I back it out there. Now, the next thing that it, uh, I wanna talk about is the tone dial. The tone makes it from darker. <laughs> The, that knob and put it, let's say, all the way on the other thing, you're gonna get it a much brighter tone. So that is something that I like. I don't necessarily like for things to sound very like, I don't know, like squeaky, like, like screech type of sound. So I will keep it around the middle. And then the fact that with the gain, you can control and you can crank the gain. And <laughs> You 
can get a much more, I guess, a distorted sound. Now, the distortion doesn't really probably compare to, to a, a much higher end uh, guitar amp, but I think for someone that is trying to practice, it's definitely a, a great option. And definitely also when someone's beginning, you probably don't have that much to compare it against. So for what it is, which is uh, uh, pretty much a headphone amp to practice, I think it has a really nice sound. So the next thing that I would like to talk about here is the fact that the phones plug here on its side. That actually I think is a good thing because there's other ones that the phones plug here on the bottom and it makes the, the, jack, of the, homes, the jack of the phones go even lower and extend it even more, making even more of a, an issue. Like if you drop it or if you put it down and you put pressure on that, that you may like almost bend one of those jacks and then it will probably won't work properly anymore. So I think uh, to me, one somewhat of a drawback uh, is that here, literally, if I look down on my guitar right now, I can't even see it at all. So I guess if you move it and, and rotate it to see if I can see it, I mean, I can see it, but I cannot see the dials at all. So one thing that this requires is if you want to adjust it, you have to like almost tilt your guitar up so you can actually change the dials and be like, okay, let me, let me play around with the sound to see what sound I like. I did test it with the auxiliary input, and also I think that the, the gain that you get out of that so you can hear it clearly works well. Of course, you probably need to balance the signal that is coming in from your iPad or from your phone or your computer, so that way you can get a balance between what you're playing and what you're listening to. So I really like the fact that it's rechargeable. We had a couple of these a long time ago that were, I think, double A or triple A battery operated. And that is a little bit of a drawback because it's almost like I think it's very easy to leave them on and then it doesn't have any charge and maybe you, you don't have batteries around the house. So I think the fact that this is rechargeable, I think it's a, it's a pretty nice thing because it's fairly easy to like, you know, play a little bit then put it on. Uh, put it into you know a socket and get it to charge again. So let me tell you, do we believe that we can recommend this for our students? And is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up for, uh, from us. I think it's a, it's a great option for our students, especially for those that are looking to not necessarily make the purchase of a two three hundred dollar guitar amp. This is $30 at the time of making this video. Uh, we're going to try to probably review a couple of other ones just to, to test out what's there because I, I saw that there's multiple that are about this price range. But I can tell you, I know a lot of parents are under the boat of like, you know, I don't know if he's going to like it. I don't want to spend too much money on like, you know, a $150, $200 guitar plus another $200 on, on an amp. It does get pricey. So this is a great option for someone. I also like that even if you have a guitar amp, the flexibility of being able to take it anywhere, practice anywhere, I think is very cool. You can put it in your guitar bag and practice in the porch, practice at someone else's house, practice when you're traveling. So I think it's a really cool thing to be able to be that quickly, uh, I guess, to be able to practice. I think one of the main things is we want to practice. We want to practice as much as we can. And I do believe that making practice, getting started on the practice, um, and making that process easy, it's a huge uh, step in the right direction. So definitely thumbs up from us for the Traveler Guitar TJA1E. We're going to put a link on the product of the, the in the description of this video so you can get the, I guess, directly to the product. If you would like more uh, information about what we do, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. Also, if you find the review to be valuable, definitely consider giving it a like. It helps uh, YouTube show it to other people. We want to thank you for watching, and we're we'll definitely continuing to do product reviews to help our students and their parents and anyone else out there that is considering purchasing this product. products make uh, hopefully an informed decision. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.